Natasha Parker called Brendan Morris a liar and a con artist on Monday's episode of Bachelor in Paradise after he downplayed his relationship with Peeper James. Rumors had surfaced earlier that Brendan, 31, and Peeper, 23, were dating, but he denied it to Natasha, 33, while feigning interest in her to remain on the ABC show. Natasha was feeling hopeful about her relationship with Brendan, but that crumbled with the late arrival of his girlfriend Peeper. Peeper came holding a date card and didn't hesitate to ask out Brendan who quickly accepted. Brendan during their dinner date recounted how the girls were interested in talking to him and mentioned having really, really good conversations with Natasha. He admitted being asked about their relationship and told Peeper he handled it by saying they were not dating, were not in a relationship and nothing was exclusive. Peeper shared her concern that Brendan was downplaying their relationship, but he assured her that they were solid. Yeah, so obviously, I was navigating this in a way to allow myself to potentially, hopefully, be here while you're here, Brendan told her. I get it. We're good. I'm good, Peeper told him. Like, thanks for playing the game. Brendan told her that it made him sad to think that Peeper thought he was downplaying their relationship. It has to be you and me, first and foremost, before anyone else, before anyone else on the beach. And that's the only way we're gonna get through this, like, being in the position we want to be in, utilizing this time here, and taking advantage of, you know, what paradise would promote together," Brendan said. Fantastic, fantastic, Peeper said. Peeper in a confessional confirmed their relationship status. Like, I'm here for Brendan. He is my boyfriend, we're dating, and I'm here to, like, continue our relationship. We're very much aligned on what it means to be here together and the next steps for us and kind of our expectations here in paradise. We are gonna have a good time together and really make that time count, so let's hope it all goes according to plan, she said. Natasha decided to go straight to the source and took Peeper aside after her date for a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Peeper said she and Brendan met about two months ago, after Brendan told Natasha they met a month ago. She also said they hung out about ten times after Brendan previously told Natasha it was two times. She also spilled that she saw Brendan right before he flew off for paradise. Natasha accused them of concocting a plan for Brendan to meet a girl and lie to her until Peeper arrived. Peeper also admitted to Natasha that she wouldn't go out on a date with anyone else, if asked, and was only there for Brendan. I feel like a casualty in his convoluted, like, plan. I truthfully don't think that you guys should be here, Natasha told her. She added in a confessional, the stories are not coinciding, so I was played, 100%. I let this human swindle me. Natasha then spoke with Brendan who told her they did not have either a romantic or intimate relationship and he gaslighted her by claiming she had selective hearing. She laughed at his face and told Brendan that his behavior was f-ed up. Brendan said his date with Peeper reaffirmed his strong feelings for her and Natasha said if she had known that she would have explored other relationships. Natasha then pointed out the contradictions in his stories and Brendan also revealed that Peeper had traveled to Boston to see him. Brendan said Peeper visiting him didn't have much relevance to the core issue. Well. The core of the issue is that I feel like you're a liar, Natasha told him. 
Brendan countered that he never prevented Natasha from speaking to other guys and added that he enjoyed their time together. It was, expletive, Natasha said. It was, expletive. Okay, Brendan said. Natasha then told Brendan to go enjoy paradise and he asked her what she is going to do. I don't know, but you don't have to act like you care anymore. The act is over, Natasha told him. Brendan and Peeper were then showing on an outdoor daybed talking about their social media accounts and laughing about how their followers had been growing. I was just getting so annoyed by her, Brendan told Peeper about spending time with Natasha. There's a lot of shady s going on in paradise, grocery store Joe Amabile, 35, said in a confessional. Maybe it's the power of social media that people are just connecting more and scheming things and coming up with plans. It never works. He added, this place is set up pretty great. Come here, be yourself, have a good time, follow the few rules that there are, and see what happens. To me, that's more exciting than coming in with a strategy. Like, why are you coming here with a strategy? Don't, don't come. Brendan and Peeper meanwhile were congratulating themselves for not putting a label on their relationship before getting to paradise. He also messed around with his microphone while commenting on his actions to Peeper. I incriminated myself enough where it's like, I am screwed, Brendan whispered. While Brendan and Peeper felt they pulled it off, the growing consensus on the beach was that they should leave. The two-hour episode also showed Joe meeting with his ex-girlfriend Kendall Long, 29, who was a late arrival. Serena Pitt, 23, got emotional as her relationship with Joe was dealt its first real test. Kendall decided to stay as Joe assured Serena that she was his top priority. Demi Burnett, 26, also grew angry after she was rejected by Kenny Brosh, 40, after previously spending time with him in the Boom Boom Room. Do you want to go to the Boom Boom Room right now? Demi asked Kenny after his date with Tia Booth, 29. Kenny declined the offer and while also remaining open to rekindling things with Mari Papon, 25. Noah Erb, 26, and Abigail Herringer, 26, also had a candid conversation after a recent falling out. They both decided they liked each other enough to put the hiccup behind them and Abigail vowed to be a better communicator. Bachelor in Paradise will return Tuesday on ABC.